Hello, we are Inspire Novices and our team leader is Rajendran. So, I would like to address our problem statement here. Our problem statement mainly focuses on the AIML based dehazing algorithm, which works under the condition for rescue operations in the conditions like uh, fire accident regions. Our process works takes, a, takes the camera as an input and processes the data that the algorithm or the program that we have developed and the process pro works and after collecting the data from the camera it processes the data in the real time and gives us the output like filtering this fog or filtering the smoke in the particular region but there is a disadvantage in this condition like even though we were able to dehaze the smoke it would be difficult in some scenarios to de detect the people through naked eye. So for this, we have also come up with a new idea like in by integrating the human detection algorithm with the dehazing algorithm so that it makes easier for keep tracking of humans who are under the fire accident region and aid them as soon as possible. With this, I would like to explain our code I mean the program that we have developed. Uh, in this code we are using some of the libraries known as cv2 and numpy. Also we are using dar channel prior algorithm. This is the line of code. We are going to get the source. I mean we are going to get the input. We are going to dehaze it. So when we are dehazing the image. Uh, we getting the output and we are going to name it as output image When the output is get uh, we should have to See it right So we are going to display the dehazed image for this we are using in show to Get the output So I am going to run one of the sample image So this is actually the output of the image, this is the input image. You can actually see there are um, uh, most of the images covered with the fog particles um, when compared with the output. As we dehazed uh, an image earlier in this program, we are going to dehaze a video and we are going to remove the fog particles present using this code where we are uh, expecting the change in this code is when we are uh, when we have to dehaze and video it should be dehazed to frame by frame for this we are using this two couple of codes for dehazing the video it will dehaze the video by frame by frame and we can actually get the output video so I am going to run a sample video here this is actually the output of a video when I when, when you are seeing the input input video you can actually see some of the fog particles are present around the trees. Uh, but when we are seeing in the output, you can actually see the fog particles can be dehazed properly. So in this code, we are going to see about human detection and the tracking. For this, we are using some set of libraries known as tkinter, pil, image tk, cv2 and so on so what we are going to do is we are going to actually develop an application so that application would actually run the human detection program it will detect the human movement or tracking from the image so these set of lines code lines of code are actually going to detect the human detection from the image source we are going to actually use an a video source so when we in, when we import a video 
when there is any human movement in the in that video it will detect it automatically so when we talk about live detection means we should activate the camera portion of the input we are using so for this we are using the camera section as the input source so i'm going to run one of the sample video that i am having so this is actually input video so you can see some of the human movement in a street view when we select detect uh, it will take some time for detecting the human movement when it actually detect the human movement in that video you can actually see boxes around the humans here as we have explained previously for the image dehazing program and the video dehazing program the live dehazing program also uh, like similar for basics it imports the cv2 and numpy libraries and the rest of the codes are similar to the other codes here the important part that we have we have to notice is this region in the previous two codes we use some some kind of input like uh, previously recorded input recorded image so for that region for that uh, purpose we gave input uh, input path and after that we called it but here there is no need for calling the input we are taking it from the directly from the camera for real process so we are giving it as zero the zero that we have mentioned here is for turning on the camera and dehazing it in the real time process so even though the program that we have developed is for dehazing but it doesn't quite well suit for the fire accident scenarios which dehazes uh, those thick fox because we couldn't develop that code because we couldn't get the right amount of data sets for training and uh, testing process so for completing the project we might take some amount of time and finally with this i would like to end the session thank you